To start off, we need to cut our shallots. You cut them in any way you want, So, but in this case, we're cutting them in a very long stretch rather than mincing them. After cutting the shallots, you need to crack your eggs. So we're moving, we're moving on to a very crucial thing, and that's adding the water into the egg. So when you add the water to the egg, make sure that you're adding enough water, not too much or too little. If it's too much, it's too liquidy, it will become too liquidy, and if it's too little, it's become too firm, losing its jelly-like consistent. So I tend to eye it, so I really can't tell you the actual measurement. After that, you need just to add the shallots, the sugar, salt, and pepper into it. Just put it too much, don't over season it. Yeah. So, I'm sort of skipping this bit and uh, speeding it up because this is quite a very boring step. Oh, because all you have to do is creating a water bath. Because, and if you have a steamer, then use a steamer. But I don't have a steamer in right now, so I'm using a water bath to steam the egg. So, when you do a water bath, just remember to put on low flame and also put a lid on it. I for, I tried to put on 5 minutes, but I, for my first track, it wasn't enough time, so because en enough time, so that's why I have to ex uh, extend the time. And as you see that it's a bit too jelly-like, it's not yet firm enough, but still firm enough. So now we're going to the second track with featuring my mom. Okay. Okay. I left it in for a few more minutes since it's just needed a little time to fully cook. But so if it comes to the third check, I checked it and it seems like it was done, but I wasn't too sure. So when you're not too sure, you must ask your mom. So that's what I did. Done. Wait. Okay, wait, just wait. Should be... Okay. Looks really good. Looks good? Yeah. <laughs> It's the Mommy, I did. I did do it. Have plan A. Should be good, right? Hey ya. My mom gave me a thumbs up approval and it's this was my final product. Very simple but meaningful. Yep. So since we had to serve to somebody but since there was nobody at home, my aunt came home pretty late, and my cousin too came home pretty late. And my parents, they were abroad, so I didn't have anyone to serve, but instead I took the alternate and served my parents and my grandma virtually through messenger. Yep. <laughs> oh, what mommy? What about mommy? I'm <laughs> mommy, mommy. Do I give it to grandma too? Do I give it to grandma too? <laughs> <laughs> Although the dish was very simple, but it has a lot of meaningful memories and attach. Yeah, it has a very meaningful memories attached to the dish because this was a dish that my aunt would make whenever I feel down, when also my mom would make it for me every single time. And it just, even though it's so simple, but whenever I eat it or whenever I made it, it's always something that gives me a sense of warmth. In addition to that, this was the first dish that she taught me and my brother together. So this is why I wanted to make the dish one more time. Yep. 
and at the end of this video there is a message from my parents <laughs> Okay, just wave. Enjoy your age. I'll let you eat it. You can eat it virtually. Okay. You, you can eat it virtually. <laughs> and so. you need to make you need to make for us when you are in Cambodia. That's another story. <laughs> <laughs> That's another story. Bye bye. All right.